Christy Hartman. I'm printing today on my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Arts gel plate. I'm using my white Deco Art acrylic paint and my Circle Stencil Girl stencil and we're printing on deli paper. This is a project that I'm working on for actually snowmen's bodies and I'm using this white paper to develop my snowmen's bodies. And you can see how all that wonderful yummy texture is added to my paper. Now I'm going to pick up the ghost print and you can see underneath I had some turquoise from a previous printing activity and it showed up on this print. And I'm going to be able to pick up a lot of that texture that's underneath in my subsequent prints using the same Stencil Girl stencil. When you pick up these, this paint, you need to rub your fingers down through those circles on that stencil to make sure that you're getting as much paint as you possibly can. In this, I had enough paint on here that I could pick up, do a second print. doesn't happen very often, and that's why gel printing is called mono printing because you usually just get one really great print and a ghost print. But I was able to pick up a lighter valued print. Now we're going to use what's left on this plate and we're going to fill in some of the empty spaces on the print itself. Here you can see that I'm picking up some of the additional white to fill in any empty spaces. I like the contrast between the positive space on the stencil and the negative space on the stencil as well. This is a good way to fill in spaces, this is a good way to add additional interest, and this is a good way to add additional texture to your prints. This print is actually going to be used as a background for a snowman, and I think that the kind of tone-on-tone -tone prints that you're seeing are going to be very useful for my snowman that I'm building. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you coming and joining me. If you like these videos, make sure that you press like on the video itself. Make sure that you join us, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.